Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Kellen here from Droid Life. So yesterday we had the Spectrum from LG. Today we have the uh, Motorola Droid Razor Max. So you can see right there, Droid Razor Max. The box actually looks identical to the original Razor. I wish I had it here to show you, but it's identical. There's nothing, I actually was, wasn't was sure this was the uh, new Razor, but definitely says it right there. So just gonna do a quick unboxing, do a quick hands-on, and then we'll get into our review later on. Um, the big thing here is obviously the battery, and you guys all wanna know how long the battery is actually gonna last. So, you know, our review is not gonna really go in that in depth like we did with the original razor because it's the same phone just has a little bit more thickness and a bigger battery so anyways let's just let's just bust into this real quick and see what we've got so if we can get it out oh there we go how about the pull tab Kellen there we go all right so here is the razor max set aside just for one second I just want to see if there's anything new in the uh, packaging you know this looks like same old stuff charger cable and a bunch of documents, so nothing we need to deal with there. Push that aside. All right, so let's go ahead and pull off sticky stuff. Sticky stuff gone. And for whatever reason, Motorola is really, really gooping up the back with this sort of plasticky material. Pull that off. All right, there it is. Droid Razor Max. You can see it is still crazy thin, right? Um, on the back, it's still that same sort of Kevlar back, same sort of um, metal finish. I'm sure it's you know water resistant. Same 4.3 inch screen, same buttons on the bottom, mics in all the same spots, same 8 megapixel cameras, the original Razer. The only difference is it has a big old 3300 milliamp battery on the inside, and it added just a tiny bit of thickness. You know we still have our still have our SIM port, SIM card port over here. I'm actually going to pull that out and use my own um, micro SD card. So it's got 16 gig in there. It's also got 16 gig internal. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All your ports up top. So, so I think what you guys really probably want to see though is how does it compare to some other phones, right? We did this quickly at CES, but just didn't have you know enough time to really, really get super in depth with it. So here, Razer Max on the left regular razor on the right so regular razor is like 7.1 millimeters thick the new razor is i believe 8.93 but you know holding them next to each other like this you almost cannot even tell so 1800 milliamp hour battery I believe in the regular razor and a 3300 milliamp hour battery in the uh, razor max and as you can see almost no difference so it's still crazy thin it's actually almost a little bit nicer to hold because there's not such a ridge back here and it's also not so thin that it just feels like it's this sharp thin object in your hand it gives it just a little bit extra added weight um, doesn't feel a whole ton different it's still crazy light but it just feels it just gives it that extra little bit of thickness I didn't know if it was possible to get too thin with a phone but the original razor might be too thin so this one feels really really nice um, also here's what it looks like against the Galaxy Nexus so you can see I'm forgetting the measurements but I believe the Galaxy Nexus is right around nine millimeters thick so at least up top anyway so you can see it's about the same thickness as the phone um, they're just side by side so 4.65 inch HD Super AMOLED screen and the 4.3 inch QHD screen over here so you got that difference they're both big phones they definitely feel you know fairly big in hand but that's where we're going these days right so all right power it up real quick um, again nothing else has changed still got your volume over here lock, lock switch nothing on this side other than your um, SD card and uh, micro sim slot your ports up top uh, micro HDMI and uh, micro USB front camera still the same yeah I mean it's really just a thicker and I, you almost can't even say it's a thicker razor because this phone is ridiculously thin um, boot animations the same the only thing we might see is a slightly updated version of blur which um, if you've been following our coverage of the regular razor there's a leaked build out there right now that introduces you know just some new icon sets and some added polish let's go ahead and see if we can just skip that Everyone knows the four corner trick, right? Four corner trick lets you jump past that. Unless you, of course, have a LG Spectrum, you cannot do that. Okay, so set up bypass. Again, as you can see, it's the exact same blur that you've all been using on the regular Razer. You know, still really smooth, still has uh, smart actions, 
Still has, I believe this does HD Netflix, still has HD Netflix. You know, there's a bunch of blowware preloaded on here, but it's all the same stuff really that you saw on the regular Razer. So the only other thing I wanted to do is go into settings. Let's go to about phone. And there is the system version 611.748. And I believe that's the same. Pardon my slowness here. Just want to pull up the uh, regular Razer and look at the about. And I believe it's it's actually the older version. So 611.748 is actually the older version that was running. Well, it's actually the current version, I should say. But there is a uh, the leaked version is 6.12.173 that introduces you know this new icon set. And as you can see on the Razer Max, it's running just a slightly older version. I mean, it's the current version. It's just not the leaked version, I should say, which we sort of expected it to be running. So you can see that's really the only difference. So again, um, 3300 milliamp hour battery, same exact phone as the original Razer, just a little bit thicker, and that's pretty much it. So we'll be putting it through full battery test to give you guys an idea of how long this puppy can really last. And uh, that's pretty much it with Droid Life. We're out.